Tonight, the Minnesota Health Department is asking doctors and parents to be on the lookout for a mysterious condition in kids. As WCCO's Aaron Hassanzadeh explains, the rare illness can cause rashes and swelling and appears to be linked to COVID-19. There's a new health alert for parents and doctors in Minnesota for syndrome appearing in children and teens that can look like this. We sent the health alert out because we have heard that there may be some cases in Minnesota. We are just trying to figure out what is going on here. It is a new thing that we're seeing, and it is something that seems to be associated with coronavirus. It's called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. Symptoms are wide-ranging, but can include a fever, abdominal pain, red eyes and tongues, cracked red lips, and rashes, sometimes requiring hospitalization. You can have very mild symptoms, um, or you could have much more severe symptoms. So if you have a concern, you should get them evaluated. There's a suspected link to COVID-19. It's happening you know, a couple of weeks to a month or so after um, the onset or peak that we have seen in the adult population. Based on what other places have seen, we would anticipate that there's a high likelihood we will start seeing children presenting with inflammatory conditions. The state says it'll likely appear in children and people under 21. Doctors here are learning from other places with known cases. More than 100 children in New York have had it. Three have died. From what we've heard in other places, hits kids, but tends to hit kids in a little bit older range. So a lot of teenagers have been uh, presenting um, with this in other places. While much remains a mystery, there are known effective treatments and catching it early could prevent long-term damage. Even though we've heard a lot about it, it still is rare, um, but it needs to be on our radar. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO4 News. Doctors recommend precautions like hand washing and social distancing to prevent the syndrome. No children in Minnesota have died from the coronavirus itself. However, nearly 30 kids and teenagers have been hospitalized.